Right. What okay. about this then? So it's it's Maui Snake's turn now. What is your bad point? Mine is, uh, I, I just don't think that any of the, the North American rosters, so Liquid, EG, Complexity, I don't think any of them can succeed in their current forms. Uh, there's just there's just glaring flaws in all three. And if I if I were to go through them, uh, Liquid just doesn't seem like Shox is integrating well at all. I think that's just like uh, on paper, just very obvious. I think Nitro could, could catch up to speed. Um, and then if you're working with the Elige, um, Elige Naf OC core, and then Nitro catches up to speed. I still, I don't know if Shox is going to catch up. So I think that's the flaw there with EG Breeze and Cirque are just so far behind where the other three are for some reason, even though they're the guys that see like have been just playing. I don't know. They've been playing a lot, right? But they just, they, uh, there's just clearly a problem with those two guys and then complexity. They could make it, but it, it just feels like it's almost like you put five super raw rough pieces together right now and you're throwing them into tier one competition. I, I guess they'll get better over time, but right now the the obvious candidate for replacement is probably Junior. Uh, just he's been playing pretty poorly. Again, like I think I think I think complexity probably has the most uh, potential in that the players could grow, but I feel like there's something that's just going to limit all of these rosters. And I would, I would just personally like to see a shuffle. I, I think that you could build two very strong rosters out of those 15 players, but I don't think there's room right now for there to be three teams. What do you think, Snappy? Yeah, I can definitely see a point that maybe it's time to mix it up. But again, that's uh, kind of the flaws about like. The more money we got into the scene, right, the, the harder it's, it is to create these uh, teams uh, because obviously as soon as you sign a contract, you're locked in, right? Um, I would obviously be willing to bet on Breeze because I have such a, like I felt he was, well, pretty much the best player in America when EG was on top. Uh, I think he had a good stretch there, so I would always gamble on him still. Um but there probably is a case that you can make two very good NA teams, but uh, it's probably true that there might not be room for, for free at the moment. Um, I guess time will tell, obviously. It's also a short time they've been together now with these rosters, so we have to give them a bit more uh, leeway in that sense. But uh, yeah, I can see a world where there's probably only room for two. But it looks like some NA players are coming back from Valorant, so maybe they will be free soon. I agree with the overall sentiment Maui makes, but it's got to be appropriate to the level of each team though obviously like it goes without saying complexity on paper was never supposed to even be top 10 like right. if they could do that they did really well like the difference is the complexity one i have the least concern about because it is just like you say it's like just a bunch of talented players stacked together with like an igl that seems decent so i actually think that is the team where i don't have great expectations of them but i think they could get it together and i also think that's even the team where what you do is the next three to five months is just figuring out which three players you want to keep out of like the star names or whatever and then you just you make one or two rosters it might even make the whole team come complete at that point in time you, you've almost got to figure out like which way your bread's buttered on that one the team liquid one i think is like mildly concerning because as you pointed out like thus far it's only the remaining players who were fucking good it's just nothing a leash like yeah. socks doesn't look at all like a culture fit or c is just hasn't gotten going yet it's just been really bad initial run and then nitro's just come back from valorant and no one even expects them to be good so liquid i i actually don't think this five-man lineup can do very much like i think for them to just be a top 10 team again is about the best case scenario and spoiler they already were that last year I will say, on paper, I think it's like, in light of how the players actually played last year, I think it's like a tiny upgrade on paper. But their problem is they're another team that didn't think of the fact that when everyone else makes the roster moves, for me, half of the team just moved above them already. So I think they're in a bad spot. And then the EG one, I actually think is a waste of everyone's time. Like, as you just said, with some of the player names you listed off there, like... Like, the idea of the guy coming back from Valorant is better than Cirque. Well, then why is Cirque yeah. in this team? You are the primary AWPer, which is supposed to be, especially in light of the previous conversation, one of the most important roles on the team. Like, the difference is, I could get away with, like, I could maybe hide Breeze for a month and a half if he needs to get shit together. I can't hide a fucking AWPer. And I don't want to hear anyone go, it's a part AWPer. That doesn't exist. That's just a bad AWPer, badly used and wasting the economy. So, to me, I think the Cirque one, like, the time has started on that, mate. Because in, in like two or three months, if he hasn't turned it around, you've just got to get someone better. Like they've got to have a good player in that position. And I think in general, the mix in EG just doesn't make any sense at all to me. So I'm sort of with you. I don't really think appropriate to the level they're all at. I don't think they do, any of them do anything relatively. Because remember on paper, Liquid should be like a champion. EG should be at least be trying to shoot for top five. And then call, like, like I said, there's actually the only appropriate one. There's like, if we make top 10, we killed it. Fair enough. Yeah, I think I think right now that what's what's so striking about the EG roster is that when when I saw them at Blast play, 
it was almost like the trio of the old Cloud9 players in Stewie, Rush, Automatic were just clearly the best three for them. Like, I the Breeze angle, like, everyone is willing to give him a lot of time. And I was a huge Breeze fan. Like, I looked up to him a lot. Well, years ago now, though. <laughs> yeah, when I was playing and stuff. And it, it, but it's just like, there. It, I have not seen a heartbeat on this guy for maybe eight months. Yeah, it's, it's uh, ridiculous. But I do also think you have to. The, one of the reasons why I also cut him more slack is because he's actually like a supportive player from the positions he play, like, and he always always have been. That's why I was always so impressed by him because he can play monster. He played long dust too. He played all these positions, and he somehow still were the best player in EG. And that's why even if he falls off a bit, I still think he's a valuable piece uh, to any North American team. And that's why I would at least gamble on him for for a longer period. I also I think would... his eye test actually checks out better of the two of them. If you watch his actual games, you'll yeah. see some kills from him that look really good. Like, he looks like the skills are still there. The Cirque one, I don't even know about that at all, mate. I, I'd have a hard time hey. with no nameplay on picking him out. No, to keep it to keep it completely 100, I mean, I, I, Cirque is at the absolute bottom of this team for me. It, 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 Cirque, Cirque, Cirque is just, I don't know if he, he's beyond repair for me right now. There's, I don't know any future. I don't know what even would need to happen to get this guy back on track. This video was kindly supported by Ahmed Hadju, Iskander, Matt Pugnacio Rakula, Travis Goff, Adam Ox, Animosity, Bot Pounder 420, Hades, Jensen Gore, Joseph Ginsburg, Kovacevic, Tobias Bernasconi, Tukan, William Payton Lacey, Zumba, Xyrothenia, and a special thank you goes out to Jerky's Minion as always. Do you want to suggest a topic or a guest for some of my content? Want to ask me a question in my monthly video? AMA? Do you want teasers? Find out who the guests are going to be on my shows. Maybe you want to be part of one of those lengthy but in-depth and interesting discussions about esports with yours truly. Well, if so, put your money where your mouth is and join the Skrilluminati today via the Patreon link in the description box below.